Okay guys, welcome to today's video and uh, today we're gonna talk about a very quite old HP. Let me turn it so you guys can see it. It's this uh, older HP here that you might have seen in offices and all that good stuff. It's uh, quite a few years probably I would say Intel Core Duo. Core 2 Duo, Windows 7, and all that stuff. That's the back I.O., which has the <laughs> old ports, and uh, but it has a display port, which that is what I'm interested in. How much did I buy this, you might ask, right? I'm not sure if you can see that uh, price there. It's $10. That's not a one. That's just a line. 10 bucks. So what can we do with a $10 laptop, you say? It'd be crazy to install Windows 11 on it, right? Well, let's crack it open and do just that. Install Windows 11 Lite. Here we take this thumb screw, put this on the side, and here we're inside it. Take this uh, disk drive out, because I'm not going to use this part. Come on. And this part comes out. Okay, here we have a Wi-Fi module. We have no disk or hard drive. We have no RAM. I have two leftover rams here uh one is four gigs and one is two gigs so you know mix and match we're gonna do i know a lot of you out there might be saying oh no don't do it that way well i'm gonna do it that way i'm gonna try it at least this way how far it goes i don't know i'm not saying that we're gonna make it perfect i'm saying i'm gonna try now what happens here is i install the ram but we need a drive too and i'm gonna use an ssd 120 gigs pny and i'm just gonna plug it straight to the sata connection right there and uh, let me put this on the side okay after a fresh drive and now a bootable usb let's go ahead and uh, try the impossible chances are it doesn't work chances are it works we don't know that we can only plug it and try it it works and we have a booting window let's see how far that goes by the way i made a video previously on that uh, phoenix light os.com and they're built so you might as well go check it out and uh, take a look at it for yourself i'm gonna do the defender on is just in case to have it and uh, let's see where we can go here it's uh installing so far and uh, let's see if it finishes the installation that's the bigger deal here <laughs> not just to install it but to finish it And as you see, we're inside Windows 11 on this older machine. Now, I never said this is going to be a great gaming machine or anything of that sort. Is it's not and it will not be. Nor was the intention of this video to make it that way. So, this kill unresponsive tasks. Press any key to continue. And uh, here we go. It seems to be very slow at the moment. And I don't know what's going on with it. Uh... CPU seems to be okay. I think the reason it's slow right now is that I'm running on a Elgato capture card, which is not supposed to be a capture card. It's one of those Camlink 4K, supposed to be for a camera. Yeah, so far, the computer is not, you know, on fire or anything, and it's running pretty good. And as you see here, the CPU load is very low, the memory low. So everything is working properly here. But I think it's between my connection from the computer to my main PC to so I can show you guys the screen. And uh, here's our menu, which seems to be quite what I was looking for. Here's the folders, Phoenix Light OS and all that stuff. Let me go to the info on this one. Info and show you the system information, what we are dealing with here. And we are talking about HP Compact 
8000 Elite. <laughs> That's from a million years ago. And it's run in Microsoft Windows 11 Pro. This is the Intel Core 2 Duo, which is really, really low. But somehow it's uh, running. And yes, 6 gigabytes total uh, RAM. And if I was running this directly to a monitor, I know it would have been, it would be way faster. So yes, it is my connection and not the computer's problem actually. And this is running really, really nice. Uh, besides that, I don't know what else to say. I will probably have to install the whole thing with a Wi-Fi. And as you see, let me connect to a Wi-Fi uh, network really quick and uh, see if it uh, goes on, which it should. I don't, oh yeah, it connected. Let's see, for example, for uh, updates, which is not a good thing to do on this one right now because I don't really have time. Um, Windows update service on. Okay, now it's up and running. And now let's go to updates themselves. Okay, check for updates. The beauty of this whole thing here is that you can turn on and off features and things on the system that are not usually very user touchable. <laughs> I should say, or user-friendly in uh, Windows 11 by default. But when you're talking about Phoenix OS, yes, it's very possible. And yes, there is a million updates right here, which I may not do all of them. Is I not going to waste your time or mine? Let me minimize this one here. And yes, everything is working as intended. And I am uh, really surprised that this computer actually pulled this off. I'm really, really surprised. As you see here, Bluetooth, network, all that stuff. Everything is working. Every single thing on it is actually working. And uh, with that said, well, I think uh, we are done. This is all the video just to prove to you that it's possible to install uh, this Phoenix OS Windows 11 Pro on almost anything. And uh, almost anything right now is this old computer. And uh, as you saw, it worked. It installed and it's just ready to be enjoyed by somebody. I may not have really a use for it because I have my other computers. I just did this for you guys that it's possible. And yes, what we upgraded on it was we put six gigs of uh, RAM. It has DDR3 SO DIMM. It's like the laptop RAM. And uh, the other thing we did on it was the uh, solid state drive. And that's all we did on it. And it's working quite good. I cannot say that it's anything wrong with it or that I would say it doesn't work. And uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, well, you can try things yourself if you like to. And as for me, that's as far as I'm willing to go with this test on this very, very old computer to run Windows 11. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. It helps me tremendously. See you next time. Bye.